Professor Carlin, you gave two thousand bucks, or you gave a thousand bucks to Elizabeth Warren, right? Uh, I believe so. You gave twelve hundred uh, bucks to Barack Obama. I have no reason to question that. And you gave two thousand bucks to Hillary Clinton. That's correct. Why so much more for Hillary than the other two? Because I've been giving a lot of money to charity recently because of all of the poor people in the United States. Well, those aren't the only, those aren't the only folks you've been given to. Now, you, you, have you ever been on a podcast called Versus Trump? I think I was on a live panel that the people who ran the podcast called Versus Trump. On that, do you remember saying the following? Liberals tend to cluster more. Conservatives, especially very conservative people, tend to spread out more. Perhaps because they don't even want to be around themselves. Did you say that? Yes, I did. Do do you understand how that reflects contempt on people who are conservative? No, what I was talking about there was the natural tendency, if you put the quote in context, the natural tendency of a compactness requirement to favor a party whose voters are more spread out. Well, and I do not have contempt for conservatives. I'm and very limited on time, with. Professor. And, I, and so I just have to say, when you talk about how liberals want to be around each other and cluster and conservatives don't want to be around each other and so they have to spread out, it makes people, you may not see this from, you know, like the ivory towers of your law school, but it makes actual people in this country when feel the like, president excuse calls me, Mex- you don't get to interrupt me on this time. Now, let me also suggest that when you invoke the president's son's name here, when you try to make a little joke out of referencing Baron Trump, That does not lend credibility to your argument. It makes you look mean. It makes you look like you're attacking someone's family, the minor child of the president of the United States. So let's see if we can get into the facts. To all of the witnesses, if you have personal knowledge of a single material fact in the shift report, please raise your hand. And let the record reflect. No personal knowledge of a single fact. And you know what? That continues on the tradition that we saw from Adam Schiff. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.